Good evening everyone. I am Romita Barik of Group 13. Today we are going to give a presentation on our final year project which is COVID-19 detection using chest X-ray images. Next slide. Here we are going to discuss some basic informations of COVID, the reason why we are using chest X-ray, some basics of CNN, text stacks which we have used to develop our project, the project workflow, then how we have deployed the project like pre-processing of data, training the model, then uh, how we have developed our project and deployed the model and uh, at the end the result our future plans and conclusions and references. Next slide. Now coming to the next slide, we will see the introduction. As we know, coronavirus are a family of viruses that can cause respiratory illness in humans. In our project, we will detect COVID-19 using chest X-ray images of patients. And the reason why we are using chest X-ray images to detect COVID-19 instead of test kits is that this process will be more handy. And when the situation gets more pathetic, testing kits are hard to find. So we are developing an automated analysis system to detect COVID-19 more easily. Next step. In the next slide, uh, we will discuss about the CNN. It is a subset of machine learning. It is one of the various types of artificial neural networks which are used for different applications and data types. Here we are using CNN because they are very accurate at image recognition and classification. And they do not involve human supervision for the task of identifying the features of a particular image. Now we will see the text stacks. The next slide. Uh, the text stacks which we will be using, uh, which we have used, are Python and Jupyter for pre processing of data, Google Colab for model training, Visual Studio for making the web app, Android Studio for making and deploying the Android app. The next page. Uh, so, here is our project workflow. At first, we will upload the data set on Jupyter and pre process the image. Then, we will use the data set. Uh, the pre-processed data set then uh, to train the model then we will use the model to make the web app and the android app. Next slide. Now coming to the next slide we will see the pre-processing of data. We have used Python as the language uh, and Jupyter platform to pre-process the data. At first we will import the required libraries then we will upload the data set from where at first we will Select the COVID-19 images, then the normal images into separate folders. Then we will upload them in Dropbox and use them, uh, use the images for the training of the model. Now the will discuss about training of the model. Thank you, Promita, for the introduction. Uh, my name is Devajitri Mullik and I will be talking about the training of the model. So the model that we have trained, we have done it in Google Colab. We have added four convolutional layer for a better performance. Now in each layer, the activation that we have kept was ReLU, but in the last layer, we have kept a single neuron and sigmoid activation since we will be performing binary classification. Now the two classes that, is, that we have are COVID as 0 and normal as 1 to get the binary result of the data generator function. Now we have used fit generator function to actually do the epochs. Now for our trade model, we have used 18 epochs and we have 15 steps per epoch. Now, if we come to the uh, model, uh, here we have we have uploaded the data set in Dropbox, and in this line we have imported it from Dropbox to our Google Colab. Now, in this line we have unzipped the folder. Now, if we go down, we will find. Now the training path we have set as it had, uh, because in the model, the data set that we had, we had two folders for train and for test. Now the train path we have set as data for train and validation path for data, the test data. You have imported uh, the libraries like NumPy, Matplotlib, Keras for, dual, for the function. Now here in this uh, section, we have actually defined how the model will look like. The first is the sequential model. We have added a convolutional 2D network of 32 and kernel size will be 3 and 3. Activation has been ReLU and the input shape has been 224, 224 and 3. Now the second we have added again, the second layer is of convolutional layer 2D of 64, 3 by 3. Activation is ReLU. 
that max, we have added max pooling of pool size to uh, 2 by 2 and then drop out of 0 0.25. Then again, we have added a combination linear network of 128, 3 by 3. Calculations again, ReLU added max pooling to the pool size of 2 and 2 and drop, drop out 0 0.25. Now, then we have flattened, the, uh, we have used the flattened function and then we have added dense of 128 activation ReLU, drop out of 0 0.5, and lastly, dense of 1 activation is sigma. Now, model at compile, we have compiled it. Uh, into the binary class for doing the binary classification the optimizer we have used is adam and matrix for accuracy now the model summary the model that we have done the model summary is given over here the total parameters that we have used is given over here and all of them are train, uh, trainable parameters now here we have just coded it on how the image data, image data generator function will work for the rescale the shear zoom range and everything Train generator function data dot train will be like this binary more, uh, class more only binary. So 920 images have been found belonging to two classes. Then we have this train generator for class indices. The, then uh, train generator function given the class indices that is Ovid will be zero, normal will be one. The validation generator again the same thing for that uh, test data set. Uh, we have uh, we have found 200 images belonging to two classes. Again the class indices will be for Ovid will have zero, at normal we have one. Now, lastly, we have used the model of fit generator to actually train the model. Now, after training the model for 18 epochs, we have found the accuracy to be 96%. And the validation accuracy, again, to be 98%. Uh, let me go back to my slide. Yeah, that's all about uh, me. Now, I introduce uh, Ognibo for the next, maybe, for the next slide. Thank you. Hello, sir. Thank you, Devajit. Um, hello, sir. Myself, Ognibo here. So now we will talk about uh, deploying the model. Uh, so in the backend portion, we have used several libraries like Flask, Keras, TensorFlow, NumPy, uh, OpenCV. We have used uh, Flask module because it is a quite robust backend development module in Python. And uh, we have used the language as Python. For that reason, we have used Flask. Uh, we have used KDAS module for implementing neural network as we are working on CNN. And we have used OpenCV module to pre-process the uploaded image. And uh, the TensorFlow to data automation and performance monitoring. <clears throat> the circuit learning is for uh, predictive analytics and other ML tasks. And in the front-end side, we have used HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So at the next slide. Yeah, so that's how our web app uh, homepage looks like. We have uh, given the title as COVID-19 up on the screen there. And we have uh, uh, given the main title as COVID-19 testing using X-ray images. We have uh, provided two buttons there, one to choose the file and one to pre predict which will give us the result of the selected image. And there is an area where the image uh, will be shown there. And uh, yeah, so the next slide, please. Yes, uh, so here are the uh, two results of our selected images. On the left hand side, we have uh, selected COVID positive uh, X ray image. And uh, after predicting, uh, this shows us that uh, the COVID positive and the probability is 84%. And on the right hand side, we, we can see that there is a COVID uh, negative X-ray images and it shows the, the COVID negative probability of 74% after predicting uh, through the whole training data. So uh, that's from my side. Uh, from now on, Srija will continue. Thank you, Vivo. Uh, good, afternoon. good evening, sir. I'm Srija Bhattacharji. So let's see the Android app development. We have done the Android app development in Android Studio and we have used Java as a language. So firstly, we have created the UI part of our app. We have used relative layout as uh, it helps in positioning the child views. Uh, we have uh, given uh, a text view and an image view and three buttons. Firstly, the select button, then to select images, then the image button to capture button uh, to capture images from our gallery, phone gallery. Then the, we have the predict button for prediction. Uh, 
uh, we have provided a flash tree and we have uh, get uh, access the, and we have provided a uh, permission to get uh, user access uh, so that our app gets access to uh, take images from our phone then we have uh, 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 then it comes to deploying the model we have converted our model to uh, tf lite model and uh, then we have deployed the model in our android studio upon deploying the model we have scaled uh, our images and extracted the rgb values before that we have also resized uh, the images into square images as our uh, model accepts square images so upon uh, extracting the rgb values from the model we uh, uh, we uh, given a condition uh, based on the rgb values which would predict whether the image is covid positive or covid 19 next slide next slide please so here we can see uh, after all the functioning uh, and uh, after uh, successfully launching of the app uh, uh, and uh, we have given a logo also and upon click, uh, clicking on the logo the app opens and we can see the flash screen next slide please So uh, then uh, it access from uh, the user permission. Uh, upon giving the permission, we would uh, be able to select or capture images from our phone. Next slide. So we have deployed uh, the Android app in our phone and after deploying and successfully launching, we have uh, selected an image of COVID uh, negative first. Uh, as we can see in the left hand, uh, hand side that there is a covid negative image in the picture and uh, it uh, predicts successfully like uh, and the accuracy is 99.10% uh, uh, and uh, uh, in the right hand side we have selected a covid uh, positive image which uh, predicts it's covid positive and with accuracy 99.5% in the next slide so uh, lastly we have uh, we have, have come to the conclusion in the previous stages of covid era we have witnessed the absolute horror of this dangerous virus to for years even now the virus is evolving itself uh, and a greater number of people are still getting affected in a regular manner so we as a group intend to help the people by providing cost effective alternatives alternative procedure to uh, detect COVID from X-ray images with the help of deep learning algorithm. So let's see our app. So this is the logo of our app and upon clicking it, uh, we are getting the flash screen. It asks for the permission also. Then we select the image from our gallery. So we have uh, selected a uh, COVID-19 image and if we click on credit, it is showing COVID-19 negative uh, image. Thank you, sir. Very good.